I'm about to play champs, but this is currently the team, and that's not gonna be good enough. So I have my squad battle rewards, objectives to claim, and hopefully we can improve the team with that a little bit. There we go. We ended up Elite 3, which is better than last week. Again, I was busy till like 4 a.m. because after stream, I had to do some stuff, and I was, oh, I still need to play this. But we already get 10,000 coins and some decent packs. So let's see what's inside of this. And they're all tradable, which is very, very nice. 75 times 10. Another walkout. Okay, I'm gonna skip that. Nothing great here that we can use. Then the rare mega pack. Not a special card. Also, not a walkout. So I'm also gonna skip that. Baltimore, are you worth anything at all? No. And Tomori is still worth quite a lot as well. He's around 24,000 coins, I would say. Oh, that's a big one. Let's go. I'm even tempted to play him, you know? Like, we could sell him and then we have coins, but we need a good team anyways. I'll send him to the club for now, and then we'll check it out afterwards. And a hunter is more than 4,000 coins, so we're just gonna list it right away. And all the other things we quick sell for more than 4,000 coins. So we already have... 120,000 coins and Tomori. Please let this be a good one. It is tradable. We need to see that walkout. It's a walkout. Good. Left back. Cancelo. Decent. When I saw left back, I was like, Tio, Tio, Tio. Paolo Maldini paid us a visit. How about that? Uh -huh. We get an 86 Cancelo, which is not worth much, but it is something. But look how many things we have to claim for milestones, foundations, seasonal. Foundations are usually bad, but let me claim everything and let's see if we have some good packs. I'm leaving. Have I just been muted the entire time? I think I just muted myself. Mm -hmm. So when I packed my Oblak, there was no voice of me. Hey, as long as I make a mistake now and not in champs, I'm happy with it, you know? So before I packed Oblak, I was saying I claimed everything. We had a bunch of packs. They're not insane. Obviously, then we packed Oblak. I was muted the entire time. I didn't pack anything else besides Oblak. So I have an 82 left. Can we get something good out of it? Nope. It is not a walkout. So the answer is going to be no. So you didn't miss much. The only thing we're still going to do is do market matchups. So let me quickly do this. Then we have some decent tradable packs. And then we got to build a team. Five minutes later. Okay, there we go. We have them. Let's open them. Can we get something good out of them? First one is a yes, because we got a Grease player. They did drop in price. The bronzes and silvers are more up in price than the golds. So just check them in your club anyways. But when they just came out, I sold them for like 4,500 coins. Next pack, also not good. But obviously, these are very bad packs. It's always worth doing, though. As I say that we get a silver. <laughs> 84, not really usable. And the last pack, come on. Be a walkout, please. No. Is it worth anything no no it's not but we still get more out of it than we pay because we literally do it with untradeable so you literally get free coins out of it with a chance of something good but we got 123,000 coins with this team obviously martinez is tradable but he's really good for us so i kind of want to keep him let's see what i can make out of this and this is the team i've built it's okay like there are some meta players with it obviously trent as right back not ideal but he was good for me so far kdb i just want that high passing maybe he's gonna be too slow but we have to see what's gonna happen the defense should be very solid with bastoni and tomori though like bastoni is a beast if you haven't tried him yet go try him out like he's insane on my main account i got 10 wins out of 15 but it was with a three and a half million coin team so i'm very scared to play champs with this because almost every game was super sweaty let's just dive into it oh that's the new skill move works very well i should have paused that oh. Oh, Ham feels good. Shooting may be a little bit low, but she feels super agile and fast. Very good attack. What a start. The team feels good. I didn't play too good, but 1-0 at halftime, not too bad. What a pass. Let's go. Okay, we score a lucky goal. <laughs> We're also going to get those goals against us, so we got to take it. 
Oh, I did three players. I love that skill move. There we go, GG. Okay, we did get scored on once, but it was done anyway, so I wasn't really paying attention anymore. We won the first game, but the problem is this was a bad team. He didn't play five at the back, and he didn't abuse the speed boost and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like at least half of the people we're going to face still will do that. But good start. Okay, there we go. Five at the back, better players. This is going to be fun. Comes out with the goalie. Then there's one thing we can do. And score! That's what we do. Don't <laughs> come out with your goalie, guys. Not against me. There we go. You can start with five defenders back. But if you give me a bit of space, I just shoot from distance. But yeah, five of the backs are really annoying to play against. That was clean. That entire attack. We're playing good. Ooh. Again, I love that skill move so much. And a good thing about that skill move is you can also midway still pause. So you don't need to complete the skill move either. So you can just create some space for yourself with it. And it's done. Trivella's OP. <laughs> the fact that he left in the 80th minute is not good for him, by the way. You can better sit it out because your opponents are based on your form. If you win five games in a row, you play against other people who win five games in a row. But if you rage quit, it doesn't count towards your form. Like, obviously, you still lose the game. But if I'm like five wins and zero losses and the next one I lose badly and I just quit, I'm still on five wins and zero losses. So the more you're towards the end of the game, it's worth it to just stick around because then at least your form goes down and you play slightly easier opponents. But we won two in a row. One against a five pack and a Haaland. I'm not gonna lie, the team feels very steady. But we're yet to face someone who's good at the game. So let's play another one. Okay, it's a Dembele and a Bomati that I've seen already. This is gonna be fun. Okay, he comes out with the goalie. So we're gonna try this. Post! I scored it this year already. So I was like, I gotta try again. There we go. No, why did I move the goalie there? That was stupid. No, goalie, come on. Why do you run past the ball there? It doesn't make sense. No, I messed up. What a save. And he's just passing around the back for the last few minutes. Do we still have one chance? No, we don't. We lost. We just created two less. That's pretty much what it is. It's not that he was really good or something. But I'm not going to show you every game. I'm going to play a few more games. And the last few games, I'm going to show again. Several hours later. Okay, guys. I got to show you something before we get into the last few games. This happened the first game after I stopped recording. He scored the 3-1. Was being toxic. Okay, anything is possible. Then a few minutes later, this happened. He scored again, 4-1. Of course, he's got to be toxic again. It's now the 88th minute. He was passing a little bit around the back. He makes a mistake. We score. We get the ball right after kickoff. And we score. And now he was obviously going to pass a little bit around the back. He wasn't trying anymore. And now he's just standing here in the corner, running back. Because it's pretty much time. Just to waste time. I get the ball. And we Trivella it in. And we go to extra time. Then he gets a penalty. I'm like, he's a sweat. He's toxic. He's going through the middle. We save it. And then after that, we cross the ball. We score. But then he gets a corner in the 117th minute. My defender should have it. But Kerr jumps in the air like it's nothing. And it's 5-5. But then we gotta score this. To win on penalties. And we do. In the 88th minute. We were losing 4-1 against a toxic guy. And we win it. So anything is possible. This felt good. Really good. But then the game after, we lost. Then we won. Quite easily. After that, we won another game 4-0. We lost on penalties against a 5-back. Then we lost again against an absolute sweat. Then we won one. And another one. And another one. On penalties. And another one. So we have been cooking and we're nine and four while on my main account with a three and a half million coin team i was at this point eight and five i won my last games and went ten and five but we're so far doing better than my main account with this team the attack is absolutely amazing kdb i'm not a fan of he's too slow but his passes are great and trent obviously too slow as well besides that super good team i'm not gonna lie i'm having a lot of fun with it but time to play the last two games i'm already happy with nine wins but can we potentially get 10 or maybe even 11 again most likely more five backs let's find out 
Oh, what a banger. Is he gone after 1 0? Let's go! We're 10 and 4. Death Finesse Plus was amazing. There we go. We're 10 and 4. That's a guaranteed hero already. And these are the rewards for 10 wins plus 60,000 coins. But if we would get one more win, we get obviously the flex celebration. But then these are the packs we are getting and 80,000 coins. The fact that we get four team of the weeks more is a guaranteed 40,000 coins more. And then the other packs are also pretty good. Okay, I kind of want to see what team we're playing against. Oh, that is a sweaty team. At least it's the four back, but that's sweaty. That's a good goal. Oh, well done. He's really good. He's passing on me? Really? Ah, calm down, bro. We're not going to do that. Let's go. Back in the game. Great pass. Bit soft. But he scores it. Let's go. I had to focus that. I couldn't even finish my sentence. <laughs> oh, banger. Let's go, him. Oh, my God, Martinez. You're a legend. Why is there a circle on the pitch? <laughs> What's going on? Is that still from that, like, the hyper motion thing or something? It's still there. And why is there a flag? Why is there a flag in my face? What's going on? Yeah, that's a good goal. He made a mistake. Let's go. That gotta be it. Just don't make mistakes and we win this. Oh my God. We ended with a goal like that. That was absolutely beautiful. What a way to get 11 wins. There you go. Rank three with a decent team, I would say, but nothing insane. After just starting up the account, pretty much. And we got rank three. Let's go. Those rewards are insane, by the way. Oh, let's apply this. Let's flex on them. And I'm going to start with the team of the weeks. They're tradable. There are some decent ones, but they're road to the knockout cards that we much rather pack. Team of the week pack. Come on. Not a walkout. Please have Van de Ven in it then. That's the only expensive player. Nope. Nope. 81 is the highest. We'll send it to the transfer list for now if we need the coins. Next team of the week pack. Be a walkout, please. It's not a walkout again. And that's also 81 rated, I think. Okay, that's absolutely trash. <laughs> we literally got the worst of the worst. Let's start off with an 83 times 10 tradable. Not a special card. Also, not a walkout. There's no way. Oh my god. That is actually really bad. EA, I got 11 wins with that team. Give me something. 82 times 20 should be better than 87 times 2, right? But I'll go for the 82 times 20 first. And we end on the hero, please. Not a special card again. It's at least a walkout. Center mid. It's Modric. Really? 186. Could potentially be two 86s. I have an 82 times 20. One walkout. Oh my god. At least there's a Urenta inside that is not worth much anymore. But it's decent. Another Tomori. We have a tradable Tomori. So that's at least good. Because he is around 25,000 coins. If not more now. So it's nice to have him on tradable. That's our first W. But then we have an 87 times 2 and a base hero pack. Let's first do the 87 times 2. And again, no special card. And it's a goalkeeper. It's Donnarumma. Donnarumma is 89 rated. It's something. What else? Ederson and Donnarumma. It's good to have in the club. We're getting absolutely ruined with these rewards, by the way. This hero got to save us. Please, EA. Please let it be a good one. It is a walker. That's good. Cam. That's Deco. That's Rui Costa. I don't know why I said Deco. He's not in the game anymore. Rui Costa, 87. That's our best thing that we got then. And he's around 100,000 coins. Wouldn't fit in any of the teams that we're gonna build for Henri. But he will fit in the main team. But oh my god, for 11 wins? That was really bad. See you in the next one, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. Thank you. Really appreciate right. it.